Hi, this is Fade Shiyoloto for me. You're watching Personality of the Week on Nigeria. Keep watching. I've been lifting from, I think, when I was young. And uh, I really st I started lifting weight. Like, so to say, maybe far back at my backyard in 2006. Then, you know, and I, I just developed the interest. But I paused for a while. I did martial arts, I fought for Lagos State, I did judo. But uh, it came into me when some uh, Nigerian powerlifters would walk up to me after my judo session and ask me to, you know, try out powerlifting because of my build. You know, and after my judo session, I'm moving there and I'll train with them. And then I, I picked up the interest. But I started really prepping for competitions and training and dieting maybe 2013. And uh, my first ever competition was the National Open Powerlifting Championship in Nigeria. You know, it was, was done at National Stadium, Lagos, December 2014. And I won the powerlifting there. I won the, I won the competition. Then I traveled to South Africa to, for a training tour where I met some other guys that have done powerlifting. And they asked me to take my, my sport you know, a step further to try strongman. And, uh, and powerlifting is always like, a, it's like, it's a foundation. Is more like a foundation for anybody that wants to go into strongman because of, you know, you have to move static weight and all that. So, my first ever comp strongman competition was done at the Rand Show, South Africa, April 2015. You know, being what I've never done before it was odd, and I, I came second from the rear, but you know, it was. It was a learning process. I didn't. I felt beat down because I'm a competitive person, and I had the opportunity to to compete at the Maryland Strongest Man. You know, and Maryland is a tough state. You know, we produce a lot of strong athletes in America. So I came in fifth there. So that's briefly my, you know, my my strength history or my strength sport history. Because I have been competing outside the country, being the only guy right now competing, representing this country, you know, at you know proper strongman competition outside the country. You know, a few of my sponsors and my friends over there, the strongman union over there, you know, tagged me the strongest. That's how the name just stuck, the Nigerian strongest man, you know. And uh, I just pick up the mantle, you know. It, it's a responsibility for me. And that's how the name stuck to Nigerian Strongest Man. And I believe I'm the Nigerian Strongest Man. It's quite tough, you know. It's tough. You know, being, I've been staying in Nigeria, you know, for, I've been living here, I live in Nigeria all my life. So me crossing over there to compete sometimes is, is so difficult because of the weather and all that. It's sometimes maybe I'm competing, out, you know, Strongman competitions are done outside. It's an indoor, an outdoor sport, so to say, rather. So because of the cold and all that, I get it. Sometimes I find it so difficult, you know, to get going, to get warmed up. But you know, I can't give you any excuse. So it's, it's a huge experience for me, and I feel so privileged and honored to 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 go out there and carry the mantle and tell them, you know, my name is Olu. I'm a Nigerian and I want to compete. You know, and you know the the whole experience is marvelous and good. Challenges are much, you know, to prep for competitions. You know, when you have to compete and you are prepping for a competition, it takes a lot of money to prep because you need to eat. You need to you need to do a lot of things. You know, aside training, I need to feed like maybe six to seven times a day on a proper diet, you know. And it's not as if I'm a brute. You know, those food are tools for me to be, you know, those are tools used for me to be effective and, you know, 
be proficient at my job. You know, the, ch the, the challenge is, you know, like sometimes I have to source for funds to travel, but, you know, that has not been the case for a while now. And uh, it's so difficult because I have to pay a lot also to get into the gym and train, you know. For me to see a proper, for me to go to a proper gym and train, you know, it, it costs a lot of money also on a monthly basis. I need support from people out there, you know. I want to carry the sport to the next level. I believe I can compete with the big boys and, you know, one day represent Nigeria at the world's strongest man competition. I, I believe so much in this country. I'm a Nigerian. I don't want to go there and, you know, and carry the flag of another person, of, sorry, of another country. I want to represent this country. I've been, I've been through a lot of injuries in my life, but I don't, you know, there's one thing about somebody that is focused, you know, you can't stop that person. You know, there are times I've trained with pains in me and I'll still go on. So, the way I, I keep moving is just, you know, the focus, the, the, the drive and, you know, what I want to achieve keeps me going and the support from my you know, for my loved ones. So, and what, one of the things that helped me a lot is I go, I don't, I go on my internet, you know, and I read, I do research on how to avoid injuries. But I wouldn't, I would lie to you that I've not experienced or I've not, you know, in one way or the other been injured seriously. You know, there were times that I've stayed out of a year not training where I tore my, my left shoulder. But uh, thank God I got you, though, and yeah, I am pushing again. So pain is part of the game, and I've been embracing pain all my life. The way you could get more recognition is by hosting competitions. You know, I believe there are strong, men, there are lots of strong guys out there, and I've seen for myself. While I was growing up, I've seen a lot of strong men, strong guys rather. Oh, sorry, a lot of strong men. And uh, I think because of me being stubborn and me not giving up, I've been able to, you know, to squeeze myself out there and, uh, and get the attention I'm getting right now. So the way you could get the attention right now is by hosting competitions, I think you can get the proper attention it needs. And which I'm... I'm working hard to get it out there. You need food. You, you need food. Like, I don't eat any hour. Like, I eat in the sequence of maybe two and a half hours to three hours. Let's say two and a half to three hours a day. Then uh, there are kinds of food I eat. You know. Like, for instance, my staple breakfast. Uh, maybe 300 grams of oatmeal and you know, five to six old eggs. You know, to, to some people it might be like, oh, that's too much. But you know, they are normal human beings. I don't see myself as an ordinary person. So, you know, but normally those are tools for me because I need those food for me to be able to be to function well in the gym. Because you can't, you can't. There's a Yoruba saying, I'm a Yoruba boy, like, Okun, laughing betita. So, if there's no food in you, your job, if you don't eat, I don't think you can do it well. If you're, if you're not eating right now, I don't think you can stand in front of me. So that happens to me also. I lift, I lift heavy things for a living. I pull trucks, I, I flip tires, I lift up cars. So if I don't eat, I won't be able to do that. So food is an integral part of the game. Those are the things I do that people don't see, that I do, you know, that go on behind the scenes. So food is very important. I think I'm built for this. If, if, if you don't interview me for Strongman, maybe, uh, maybe I'll be one of all these you know, people that investigate crime because I, I have a flair for criminology and all that. So actually right now I'm running a program in criminology. So if you're not interviewing me for, 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 for Strongman right now, I think I'll be on that field right now.
doing that. But aside strong man, I love football. When I grow up, I, I play football, but I can't, I can't do that. I'm, I'm like 156 kilograms now. So, <laughs> uh, I, love, uh, I love being with my family. Then, uh, I love to, I love movies also, to watch inspirational talks and all that. So, those are the things I do aside strong man. I have some few competitions this year that will enable me to earn my pro card, you know. You know, like my season is starting from April down to December. So this year, and I'm actually going to have a competition here in Nigeria soon. So this year is all about me going a step further in trying to earn my pro card. And uh, I think that's, that's just it this year. Me. So I have a lot of competition in America and in South Africa this year, maybe in other countries. But the heaviest thing I've ever pulled is to pull. I've pulled a, I pulled a, a ten, I think a fifteen-ton truck. In December two thousand and uh, uh, fifteen in South Africa. You know, I actually pulled the truck. And it's just that it's a shame I don't have the, I don't have the clips, but I have pictures of it. Then I've. Uh, I've walked with uh, 430 kilograms of weight on my shoulder, and uh, <laughs> strong mind is just I can't I can't name it. You know, like a lot of things I've done, crazy stuff I've done. I've uh, I've, I've deadlifted a car from the floor up, you know, uh, an SUV, you know. So those are things. I think those are the heaviest things I've ever done. Those three. For those that are willing to, to, to pursue a career in Strongman, uh, I'm not trying to scare anyone. Uh, you first, you need to ask yourself, is this really what you want? It's because, you know, it, it takes a lot of discipline and a lot of work. You know, even there are some amateur competitions that are so difficult. So my advice is just to, number one, you believe in yourself, you get focused and, uh, I think believe, just keep believing and keep believing and work hard and pray. That is just those three words, you know, you believe, you stay focused and you work hard, you know, and pray also. It's your boy again, Fadishu Yoluato for me. You just watched Personality of the Week on Nigeria. Uh We had Lotus Fitness and Health Center on Victoria Island. You know, this is where I train and this is my home. Thank you. <laughs>